The new owners of the property are well known in the Hollywood legal community, and they tell 12 News that even though plans have changed two years after closing on the property, they still hope to turn this historic deposit resort into a year-round destination. The Scotts Aquaga Lake Resort was once a place to escape the hustle and bustle of New York City. Vacationers boarded a train from the Big Apple to stay at the resort, tucked away in the Catskill Mountains. A lot of the people came um, because they sort of knew us for so many years. Their, their great grandparents used to come here and their grandparents and they came as children. The Scotts Resort was a generational destination since the late 1800s. The classic feel of the property with the casino, golf course, bowling alley and lake activities attracted families for more than a century. In 2018, it attracted a bit more than just guests, as it appeared in Amazon Studios' hit TV show, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And people were liking the idea of stepping back in time. Mm -hmm. when, they, when that show came out, they liked the whole idea of what we were offering. You know, uh, that basically very much what the show was about was exactly what we did. After 150 years in business and now known globally, the costs of operation for the thousand acre property became too much for the family to keep up with. The 2019 season marked the last for the Scotts family's resort. You know, you, we put our heart and soul into it and our family, our immediate family were very mm -hmm. much involved and so it's heartbreaking even for the grandchildren that we're not there anymore, you know. Um, but things change, and what can you do? The property went on the market, and several groups expressed interest, but many were intimidated by its size. The resort's presence on the show caught the eye of New York-based lawyer Tina Glandian, whose group Garagos Global purchased the property in January 2021. Yeah, I found it so charming on the show. And when I saw that it was listed, it was like a no-brainer for me. I felt like it's a must-have and it would be something that would be amazing to add to our portfolio. Glandian, who's represented high-profile clients such as Kesha, Chris Brown, and Jussie Smollett, along with her partners, planned to make minor renovations to the property and reopen the next season. A collapse of the playhouse, a focal point of the property, postponed that original goal. That was obviously very tragic because that building had so much historic value. And, you know, possibly it was a blessing in disguise because it did then um, kind of force us to really reevaluate what to do with this property. The property has sat without visitors since its closing in 2019, as the group explores options and possible collaborators for the project attract tourism, but we also want it to be a gathering place for, you know, for locals. And we really think this is such a key property for deposit. So we are evaluating everything. Those are on the table, but we just haven't made a definitive um, decision just yet. And Garagos Global is in the master planning phase and exploring ways to give this former New York State gym a chance at a second season. Grant Johnson, 12 News.